Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's The Choice. When we hear that word, take them, we're, we're, we're shooting. Gonna be late, Ralph. Thankfully, he's not as loud as when they were actually calling Holy him. cow, Welcome man. to The Choice. Yeah, this week we are heading just a few hours south of our home. Yeah. Which is really cool. We decided it, to go snow goose hunting for the first time ever, and RJ, uh, RJ was the one that kind of pushing us towards it, huh? Yes. He it, was like, come on, I want to try this, and it was a blast. Let's admit it right now. Okay. 100% addicted to waterfowl hunting. It's fun, you can do it with the family. Y'all could sit and just have a great time. Vicky's so happy, cause she could have hot coffee in the blind. The hot coffee was the best part. And she can talk. Oh my gosh, life is good for the vixen. Who, who's talking right now? Huh? Really? Let's just get going. We had RJ down there, the whole family like you said, and it was amazing. It was rain and snow. Well, got to make sure the dogs are taken care of because um, we are running a little late because we're supposed to head down to central Illinois to do some white goose hunting for the next two days. RJ, we have to have him stay in school, but he is after tomorrow. Josh is bringing RJ down, so we're all going to be able to hunt together on Friday. And then we'll be home late Friday night. So yes, this is, this is our life. It's a little crazy, a little hectic, but wouldn't give it up for nothing. When we got down there, I mean, we've never really gone. We've gone waterfowl hunting. Yes. Oh yeah. You Up know, in North and, Dakota and, and everywhere. And, yeah. yeah. And, it's and we fun. love it. But we, we weren't really it. sure what to expect when we were going to go down there to show me your snows. Yep. So we get there, and it is just a huge metal pit. As with any hunt, spending hours on stand simply comes with the territory. The underground setup allows the hunters to talk, laugh, even cook while waiting for the next band of geese to fly overhead. Guess where we're at? Yeah, we're in central Illinois, huh? Yeah, we're snow goose hunting. <laughs> Show us your snows. We've never done this before. This is like, we have 10,000 decoys around us. I have 10,000. I've never seen this before. This is pretty cool and it's it's our home state. And you know, we called the guys and Freddie set it all up and we're down here and we're gonna see what happens. Um, I don't know. I mean, we, we've waterfowl hunted a bunch, but not in the springtime and not for snow geese. And you see what I deal with? Look at yeah. You can make them talk to you all She's quacked. <laughs> basically why we run this many decoys or a set location. The more decoys out you have out, the farther they can see you. It wouldn't be as far to say as they can see you from five miles away. Basically, what you wanna have is you wanna, you wanna be in the upwind side of your spread. That's the way the birds work. You wanna have the, the most concentrated areas where you wanna be in the decoy spread because the geese are feeding hard there. We're putting our uh, our name, our address, and our customer ID number on our hunting license. Mm -hmm. That way the state knows who's been in this blind. And everybody in the blind has to do it. Hunting dates with Show Me Your Snows Outdoors ranges from February 1st to March 31st with the majority of sightings ranging between the 15th of each month. 
As with any hunt, weather dictates success, and snow-free ground and clear skies provides the best chances for multiple encounters. We're in the late migration. The, the main push is pushed through, and we're hunting the younger birds. The younger birds don't have the drive like the breeders do. So they're just they're just hopping from refuge to refuge. There's just small juvie pods from from here to Texas. Well, it's been a long day, pretty slow, but birds are starting to fly. They could the guys are spotting them way out, starting to go to feed. So we'll see. We still have a chance. It ain't over till the big white snow geese hit the ground. Ralph and Vicky are nestled comfortably among 10,000 decoys, hunting snow geese with Show Me Your Snows outdoors in Illinois. It pays to be taller in this pit blind, because I'm telling you what, all I see is decoy butts. They have a shooting bench. A fifth grader used it yesterday, if you'd like. Oh, fifth grader used it, great. <laughs> all I gotta do is now is be smarter than a fifth grader. <clears throat> Forget it. Yeah, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Arriving a couple days before RJ, the crew has had their fair share of opportunities. Well, we got some birds working. And we're trying to hide in here and see. You know, a lot of times when you're deer honey, you're big game honey, it, it, it's about being quiet, it's about being sneaky right. And, and, right. and all that. This is an opportunity to get everybody together, laugh, Have cry, I mean, just do it all, and spend the whole day hunting. Now, what is better than that? Nothing. I don't know what he's saying. I can't hear anything over the goose call, so I have no idea what's going on. It's getting louder, though. Well, I think we lost him. I don't know why, but they might have saw something they didn't like. Could be the dew, I don't know. Huh. Those are the trials and tribulations of this crazy, crazy thing. Snow geese begin their migration across the skies of Iowa as soon as the ground becomes snow free. Usually the adult birds push the snow line. As long as we have open water, we'll hold a good number of snow geese. Typically pushing the ice and snow lines, if the geese arrive in a snow free zone and find frozen water, they will often fly back south and find open water to roost at night. It takes really cold weather to push our geese out of here if we do not have snow. We do have two warm lakes here. They hold geese till, till I mean, get down to the single digits and then we'll lose them completely. Snow geese breed north of the timberline across North America and fly as far south as Mexico during their annual migration, returning to the breeding grounds every spring. It's a game of hurry up and wait. And although hours can span between sightings, it's imperative that Ralph and Vicky always be prepared when the moment finally arrives. We're, we're trying to imitate a, fl a flock of geese. There's snow geese right there. Actually, we got snow. Good job. <laughs> Dang. Come on, Diesel. Look at Diesel. 
Hey. Come on, Brandon Hall. Come on. I love. This is cool, guy. I'm telling you. Think about it. This is after deer season. It's it. You know, turkey season ain't started yet. So you come down here and have this kind of fun. I'm all about it. Perfect shooting for you, Ralph, wasn't it? Yes, sir. Straight up. <laughs> it was straight up. <laughs> you ain't hearing me complain, man. No way. Well, it's been a little slow. And they came out and stood and they decided, you know what, with the way the wind's blowing, we need to move the decoy. So we're taking all of these snow goose decoys and I'm gonna move them all closer up to where we're sitting in the blind. I don't know if there's a certain place I'm supposed to put them, but that's what we're doing. Ralph and Vicki are hunting snow geese with Show Me Your Snows outdoors in Illinois. Just throwing them? Yeah, <laughs> great. Right. After a few encounters, the huh? team decides to reassemble the decoy <laughs> layout in hopes of attracting more birds to lower their altitude and provide Ralph and Vicki with a shot. There's a southeast wind tomorrow, so that means coming over this way, they are trying to change that pattern. So when the birds come in, they're coming in this way. They'll be broadside to us because here's their pit. If, if you just be quiet and you listen, you can learn a lot each time you come out here. And that's what we're doing because I wouldn't have known what the heck to do. Because when you look at this, it just looks like a, an ocean of snow geese. I mean, just look at it. Yet there's a pattern to it all, which is pretty cool. There's like 10,000 decoys uh, out here at Show Me Your Snows. I don't think anyone does it larger spread, do they? I don't know, but you know, I mean, when you're on the ground, you see them a lot, but from the air, it's crazy. It is just, I mean, it's its just, it's captivating. It really is. Because like, you know, like you just said, when you're in the pit, you see them, but you don't realize how far they reach and they, they let it encompass you. And, right. and I mean, it just, it, the whole field is decoys. Right. But, but because what we've learned, and we're learning this, this is all new to us, but you've got thousands of birds flying and they're way up. And they, when all of a sudden they see, you know, those White. big spreads, it makes them come down and look. And when they come down and look, <laughs> our brownings are smoking, baby. Nothing's dying if you ain't got steel flying. We work that flock to the full potential. There's nothing else you can do. I mean, all the way to the end. We, lo we almost lost them twice, but we kept bringing them back. We ended up getting one, and it's better than none. Well, the geese didn't really fly today, but I'll tell you what, just take a gander at that and you'll see what, you'll see why we all do what we do. We got till a half hour after sundown, so we'll see what happens. You know, the really cool thing is, is we're gonna have RJ with us tomorrow and it's gonna be his first experience you know, in a pit like this. So it doesn't even matter if, if mom and dad actually ever squeeze the trigger. We're hoping he gets some shots. That's the big thing. getting ready to drive out to my mom and dad for hopefully gonna be a lot of fun get a lot of birds for goose hunting but uh 
I mean, I'm excited, man. I don't really know what to say. It's a two hour trek to meet his parents in camp, and RJ is excited to put his hours spent in driver's ed to the test. This is the eighth person that's passed me. I'm gonna go ahead and speed them. That's like illegal, man. See, what is this? Let's Finally here. I'm guessing that they're not back yet because we don't see the van or anything, but I'm excited for tomorrow, guys. It's, it's, yeah. With RJ in camp, Ralph and Vicky are anxious to get in the blind. Well, we're pretty pumped and I'll tell you why, because this is RJ's first waterfall hunt. Yesterday, Vicky and I got down here a little before RJ. RJ still had school and we only had like two opportunities and we made those opportunities count. With clear skies expected and a proper win, the team is anticipating a day full of fun. They're right over our heads. That was cool. Once a flock is spotted, the team goes into action. Broadcasting snow geese sounds and flapping fans gives the geese flying at altitude an illusion of a refuge. Space Invaders. Mom, Space Invaders. why you wait all day. Well, this ain't all just from us, because we got a lot of the Southern boys here too from Illinois. We just had a flurry, over 20 birds. And, and I mean, it was perfect. And it's really cool when everybody's working together, no one jumps up and shoots until everybody's ready, boom. And it was like, well, I, we ain't never experienced a civil war, but I guarantee you that was the closest thing we'll ever see, huh? There was steel flying everywhere. We figured out something here that we had a blast doing. RJ is loving every minute of this. The, the reality of it is, is we have him hooked on the outdoors. Huh, RJ? What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> okay, here is what I can't believe. What? I have never in my life seen so many decoys. No, oh my gosh. S show me your snows, which has been the tongue twister. Yes. These guys had like 10,000 decoys I think they have the there. largest spreads anywhere, really. Never seen so many decoys ever, but it worked. Oh. And we had such a great time, and all those goose, all those geese that we shot, goose? we brought home with us. We had an amazing We are 100% addicted to waterfowl hunting. Yes. yes, so thank you everyone down there at Show Me Your Snows. We really appreciate the time, and hopefully we can get back down there again next year. Yes. Yes. So thanks for making your choice. The choice. And we'll see you next week. Next week? Aww. 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 He scares me sometimes. <laughs>